hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day or a great night depending on when you're watching this video today is august the 28th so that means that i'm almost to my one year mark on youtube which is september the 20 i take that back definitely not september the 29th but that's what i was thinking because it's august the 28th so september the 19th would be my year so i'm hoping 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 by this time next month or you know by the 18th i will be able to be monetized here on youtube with the help from you all so i'm hoping to make that happen if not i would just have to keep you know working until we make that happen so what i wanted to do in this video is just show you all what i'm thinking for my sinking funds and hopefully they go well so i have some sinking funds of course some saving funds and I just wanted to actually go through and see how many paychecks I have before the actual due date for those things. And remember, a sinking fund is pretty much a savings fund except for you take your amount and divide it by the exact number of paychecks you have in between to make sure that you have that money set aside. So this is my randomizer i'm just having this so i won't have to you know end up reading something else because y'all know i will do that so first we'll start with girls trip me and two of my other friends are attempting to plan a girls trip to golf shores at the end of january of course i won't need that much money but I still would like to save a thousand dollars and whatever is left is what's you know left so yesterday I calculated that I would need I take that back yesterday I calculated that I have 11 paychecks before we leave so far I have two hundred dollars set aside so 11 paychecks and I already have two hundred dollars set aside so i need eight hundred dollars and that means once you divide the eight hundred by eleven and round that number up you would get seventy three seventy three and if i just did an overall of eight hundred and just wanted to save six hundred more dollars i would need to do fifty five dollars each paycheck the next one I have is Christmas. Christmas come at the same time every year. We know it's on the 25th and we know we need money for Black Friday shopping. So for right now, as of today, I think, hopefully I don't say this backwards. I know I have $568.60 setting aside for Christmas it's in a high yield savings i take that back it is in a cd account with navy federal which i can't get the money out until around july the 20th so i've been adding money to it when i can hold on okay what was i saying christmas we know it comes every year on the 25th i do have some money already setting to the side my goal for christmas if i can reach it if i can't we just have to you know buy stuff with what we got so the goal for christmas is a thousand dollars that's what i'm hoping for this year i put that amount because last year i kept up with everything and i spent one thousand forty four dollars so I was thinking, well, $1,000 this year would be a good thing. So we have $42 each paycheck. Or I could just save for $300 more to add to my $568 that I have and just go from there. Next, we have medical, which is pretty much 
not necessarily a savings, but a sinking. Well, I got that backwards. A savings fund, not a sinking fund. I need to, of course, I got to rewrite all of this, so it'll be okay. So, for savings for medical, because, you know, when I have money set aside for savings, I'll end up having to use it whenever I go to either my retina specialist, my ophthalmologist, or the dentist. So, I was thinking I could attempt to save 20 to $30 per paycheck. And I'm sure you all are wondering, what? wondering how am I going to save all of this money so my way to attempt to save all of this money would be just working overtime when I can not having extra for credit card debt since I've paid that off I've still been using my credit cards but I've been paying them off as well as I use them and you all will see that when I close out my second paycheck, which would be in a couple days. Next, we have auto. So, we always need money for auto. Of course, it's a savings fund versus a sinking fund. So, for right now, for auto, I do have $440, I believe, for auto fund. I do have to go get a oil change, um, is it next week? Not next week, but the week after next. And hopefully it doesn't cost much. And I'm not doing, you know, all the extra, extra stuff. So 10 to $30 for each paycheck for auto. Next, we have the quarterback, which is the... I guess you can call emergency, well, you can call it the emergency fund or my three to six months of expenses. Right now, remember, I did use some of that money to pay off Discover, and I still have four, four thousand something in there. So I figured I would just try to save um, a minimum of ten to thirty dollars, and if I could save fifty or a hundred from each paycheck going forward, that's that's a good thing. And of course, that fund is ongoing. Next, we have uh, one of my friends' weddings. Uh, they I don't know why, y'all. Remember, every time something comes up and you need to start saving for it right away start saving for it right away so my friend got engaged uh last year but i wasn't thinking okay desiree you need to save some money now i don't know if i would need four or five hundred dollars um they haven't started planning too much i'm not sure if i'm going to be in the wedding but if so i would still need to set some money aside so anytime something happens and you can start saving for it early definitely start doing that so if i want four hundred dollars i could do twenty dollars per paycheck and i should have which i didn't write down i should have a minimum of eight paychecks 18 paychecks before june because I know she said they were thinking about having it in June. So, 18 paychecks and $25 each paycheck. Or if I wanted to say 500 that would just be $24 per paycheck. If I did the math, cal math calculations? Math calculations correctly. Next, we have my birthday. It is in January normally. I don't do anything for my birthday and of course remember that girls trip is probably a week or two after my birthday so I really don't have to save too much money but I just want a little bit of money set aside in case I decide okay I want to go out to eat or I want to get a Airbnb or a nice hotel room somewhere. So that's where these numbers came from. And I have one more, I think. Nope, 
that was all. I know another thing I need to save for, and I'll just put it on this piece of paper. So I want to start saving for family reunion, even though I typically, you know, have the money set aside to attend, but I do want to start factoring gas and possible hotel stay, especially if it's, you know, out of town out of town so where it's going to be this year i can stay with my mom for free so i wasn't really worried about that but let's say we ended up having it in virginia or wisconsin or somewhere like that sorry had to yawn or somewhere like that i do want to have money set aside for gas and hotel and just to be on the safe side jasmine what are you doing you better not knock this what why are you over there? Oh, boy. Y'all, come get your knees. Come get your knees. Come. Now, why are you messing with that stuff? Hold on. So, oh, now she want to push my leg. Lord, fix it, y'all. So, we talked about family reunion. Another one I want to set money aside for, let's say, Travis' birthday. No, you can't get out. You have to wait on me. You have to wait on me. Quit being stubborn. You got to learn patience, remember? So next we have Travis' birthday. Travis' family do tend to go out for his birthday. When I say go out, I mean go out with a bang or blast or something. Jasmine, why are you doing that? Get her and take her home. I just bought some dog food, so I'll be happy to give it to her.